morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, what a privilege, what an opportunity once again on this second day of February to meet with our Lord, to give him thanks, to appreciate the fact that he would have been the one who would have awoken us this morning and allow us this opportunity for morning devotion. Uh, this morning, our passage of scripture comes from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36, and the New Living Translation, it says, or the NLT, patient endurance is what you need now, so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he has promised. Let us pray. Thank you once again, dear Father, for allowing us the opportunity of being alive even in these times. We are grateful for your protection over us during the night and for the opportunity once again of coming into your presence and meditating upon your word. Take full charge of this morning's devotion. We pray with thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. So, in the King James Version, the same passage of Scripture tells us for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. You see, uh, we know we need to have faith and belief, right? But today's scripture says we have need of patient endurance if we are going to see God's promises. If that is, if these promises are to come to pass, maybe you have been praying, believing, and being your best, but you do not see anything changing. Most of us think of waiting as a negative thing, and we do not like it. In other words, we do not like to wait. We are tempted to be impatient and live stressed out. After a new perspective or we should have a new perspective you are not missing out and you are not falling behind but you are right where god wants you the promise is right on schedule it is all part of god's process the key is to wait with a good attitude do not be complaining why is this taking so long no turn it are wrong, says the Father. He said, thank you that you, what you have started, you are going to finish. Thank you that what you've promised is on the way. If you wait with the attitude and then after patience has done its work, you are going to see the promise come to pass. In other words, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be patient. Because only as you exercise that patience, you will be able to see the working of the Lord. You will be able to understand and appreciate how God would have been working behind the scene to facilitate your request. So today, as you go forward, be patient. Wait on God. He will not withhold anything from thee that love him. So don't get flustered when things don't happen your way. Wait, I say on the Lord. Thank you, dear Father, for your promises. Thank you for your assurance that you would come true in your own time. Help us to be patient, we pray. With thanks in Jesus' precious name. Amen.